If you use Lumion on a regular basis, you need a Lumion template. A Lumion template will allow you to save time every time you start a project and your team to produce consistent results. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly BIM productivity videos. Now let me show you how to create your own Lumion template. Let's get to work. Let's talk about layers. To start your Lumion template, I would create a few layers to support your template strategy. For example, if you develop and store content in a template layer, you can easily turn on and off this layer so that you can um, easily place content in your project. You may want to have at least one layer for your main model and another layer for other types of imports like SketchUp geometries or other 3D models. And then one for vehicles, a couple for nature, one for standard nature and the other one for fine detail nature. And then of course, depending on the type of work that you do, you could have exterior lighting and interior lighting just so you can easily uh, increase performance. And then of course, 3D people and 2D cutouts, depending on the types of renderings. Uh, 3D people are more suitable for animations and the 2D people obviously are more suitable for still renderings and you may wanna be able to manage the visibility of them. Let's now talk about content. What Lumion calls objects are probably the items that will save you the most time if included in your template. Now let me show you how I organize my content. I like to keep my project around the origin, especially if you export your Revit model based on project base point, which should be on the site, you should have good control over the location of the model. And you can also make sure that it's placed in the right coordinates. Now my content is placed under the template hide layer, which basically is used so you can pick and choose the elements that you need. You can copy them to your project, change their layer to make sure it's relevant. And then you can go ahead and turn off the template area. Now, this is the content that works for me in terms of um, the region that I'm in and the project requirements that I typically have. Why did I place the content here and why can't I just pick the elements from the library like this. Well, you see that the thumbnails are very small and sometimes the scale is hard to discern. And what I like to do is simply have all the elements on display and especially for cars, you can define the colors that you like so that the cars are already placed. And also consider that the quality of the content varies quite a bit especially when it comes to people and vegetation so you may you may want to make sure that your team only uses high quality approved content now let's talk about how to use this content for example let's say you need cars for a parking lot you can uh, make a selection holding control down with a window selection and now you selected these four cars and if you hold alt down you can copy it to your project. We're going to assume that you want to leave a copy of these elements into the template area so you can grab some more cars at a later time. But then, of course, you can uh, change these elements to the appropriate layer, for example, vehicles. And at that point, when I turn off my template, these cars will stay. And that applies to all these elements. Let's look at how I organize the people. You see that they're mostly organized by activity. So I have adult sitting, adult standing, walking, cycling, and then I have children divided by similar activity. The reason why I did this is because I like to have a good diversity in terms of say ethnicity, age, so that when I grab a group of people based on activity, I know for sure that I have a good diversity. Of course, the way you organize all your content really depends on your region and your types of projects. So this should only give you an idea based on what I did. 
Now, beyond people, I'd like to show you how I organize my vegetation. For example, I'd like to have a good selection of uh, low landscape elements. So some flowers, some uh, brushes, hedges, and then some uh, larger ornamental plants. And then the rest of the trees are essentially grouped by tree type. Next is still views. I like to organize the views in the template so they're looking towards the project base point. So no matter what model I bring in, my views are generally looking in that direction. So for example, when I bring in a larger model, all I have to do is maybe do some minor adjustments and make sure that I capture the area that I want. The other reason to store views is because you can store effects. And this is very useful because of course you can save effects out as files, but if you already have them in your project, it's much easier to visualize the combination between environment, building with materials, and the final effects with the light settings. Now let's look at how I deploy these files to my team. I'm going to assume that this is a new project template folder. So these files are already placed whenever we start a new project. What we may need to have is a template read-only, just so you can always have a copy there. Then the actual template that you can use to start your project. So you can open this file and simply rename it with the name of the project. That way you have a, an untouched copy so you can grab items from in case you delete them from the actual project file that you're using. And right next to that, I would place a very quick cheat sheet so you can uh, tell or remind your team how to use this content. Now, just to give you an idea, this is what it may look like. Now, as a bonus tip, I'd like to show you how to transfer elements from one project to another. Now, if you delete some elements and you need them back, a way to bring them back from the template read-only is, for example, select some of these elements, the ones that you need, and add the current selection group. So now you created a group and you're able to save the group as a file. And then when you're back into your life project, you can make sure you select all in place and then you can select load group to load the group that you just saved. Now you can download this uh, sample template. I'll put a link in the description just so you can get an idea of how it's made and uh, create your own. Now let me know if you have any questions and also let me know if this workflow was useful to you and how you used it in your projects. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.